All right, guys, so we're gonna dive right in. We're gonna use some Mod Podge today. Also with some wide mouth lids and bands for mason jars, we're gonna use those lids. We're gonna use just your basic paintbrush. I'm gonna use the biggest one that I have. Pretty sure I got this at the dollar store. It's fairly cheap. Everything I'm using today is either from a dollar store or from Walmart. I didn't pay over $5 for each item. Except for these pictures. These pictures are from Walgreens, but you can order them from ever, or you can even print them out on a printer and use some paper. Um, just some household scissors. Also got the magnets from Walmart. They were $4. I got the small ones. Um, you can get bigger ones, ideally your size, depending on if you want the magnets to hold something up on your fridge or if you're just using them to display. So, as you can see, I drew a circle to um, just know where to cut and get going but it's pretty self-explanatory i draw a circle i cut it and then i will trim it down to fit within the ridges of the lid um because i want some of that metal to show um but i cut it down and my circle is not 100 percent perfect but y'all it's it, i don't think that really matters i think it um will look cute in the end as perfect as you can get it um just a few things around the edges is not a big deal um, it's not really that noticeable. So I'm going to take this Mod Podge. I'm going to um, Mod Podge the lid itself. And then I'm also going to add some to the back of the photo. Um, Mod Podge acts as a glue and a sealant. So you don't have to necessarily have glue for this project. But if you wanted to, you could just use a, a glue. I don't know if hot glue would be good because it's kind of thick. But you could use a glue to glue that down. So I let that sit. I get on to the next one um, while that one dries a little bit. I cut it out and then I'm gonna trim it down a bit. I'm gonna add that glue just like the last time to both the lid and the photo. I'm gonna press it on there with some pressure, try to smooth it out, make sure it's smooth. And of course, if you were to use that printer paper, it would smooth out a lot easier. I think that I should have done that with that with this project, but they still look pretty cute. So right here, I just, it wasn't sticking as well as I wanted to. So I'm going to reapply and then I'm going to actually add the Mod Podge bottle to apply pressure to hold it on there for a little bit. So now that that is dried enough for me, I'm going to add my Mod Podge to seal my magnets. And don't be alarmed, Mod Podge does dry clear. So um, just make sure that you stroke in the same direction, um, that your brush, stro brush strokes aren't going all every which direction because it will dry and you'll see those strokes. Um, but here it is. These are semi-dried. I do it semi-dried because I like to put the magnets on there and then stick them to whatever it is to get them off of a surface, off the, off of somewhere. And I like them to dry on, on the fridge or wherever I would put it just because it's hands-free and I don't have to worry about dust or anything like that. But you can totally hot glue the magnets on the back. I came unprepared, didn't have any hot glue. But I found out that they kind of hold on. So I'm just going to go with it. And um, if I had to recommend anything, I would just hot glue those magnets. But here it is. There's just a couple that I did. Of course, you know, they're still drying. But I think they look really good and great, grand. I think they're awesome and they're perfect for a farmhouse feel.